What's going on everybody? Matt from Butcher Shop Cax Derby. It's a exciting day. I decided uh, since I've had quite a 2020, I decided to give myself a little Christmas present. So, me and you guys are currently on the road to Texas. Not for good. <laughs> well, we're gonna go find us some whitetails. So, right now we are almost to Blythe, California. We've got about 780 or so miles to go today. Lots of windshield time. But it's gonna be worth it. We're going to go as far as Van Horn, Texas tonight, and then tomorrow morning we're going to get up and meet in uh, Roosevelt, Texas, which is just about another four hours past where I'm stopping tonight. So that's right, you add it all up, it's a 19 hour road trip concert starring me. <laughs> Thank goodness for podcasts and Apple Radio, because going through the desert is not shit. So yeah, I hope everybody's doing good and staying healthy. Um, yeah, allegedly we're on lockdown in California, but uh, you see how well that's going. <laughs> I think... Uh, I've seen more cars on the road in the last few days than I have in the last month and a half, so it doesn't seem like uh, people are too worried about the uh, stay-at-home order anymore, which is good. Live your life, don't be afraid, but be careful. I mean, this, is, this is some real shit, but I don't think uh, I don't think we need to be too scared of it. So yeah, if you've been following along, I've been missing deer hunting, so that's kind of what we're, what we're going to do now, is going to go find some whitetail, and uh, a few other odds and ends that are on the bucket list that they might let me shoot, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I lucked out to have my own, uh, own business where I can use all this stuff as a write-off, <laughs> somehow going to collect specimens yeah so wish us luck us me it's the royal us yeah and I'll, uh, I'll be checking in again here shortly let you know how uh, Trials and tribulations of the road is going. This is the longest solo ride I've been on for a minute since I stopped driving the Peterbilt. But it's going to be fun. Once you got the trucker butt, you've always got trucker butt. You can sit and do nothing but pay attention to where you're going for the rest of your life, I think. Alright, guys. Thanks for letting me yammer on. I, uh, I hope we get you some entertainment on this deal because it's going to be fun doing it. What's going on, boys and girls? Day two of my drive. We are going through Fort Stockton, Texas. We're almost there. Another 189 miles or something like that to Roosevelt where I'm going to meet up with the guy from the ranch and he's going to take me over to the ranch. So yeah, getting closer minute by minute. Had a good rest last night at the uh, Quality Inn in Van Horn. So thank you to those guys for 
<laughs> but by the way it looks in Texas, don't give a shit. So yeah, we're just sitting here driving. Listening to some real ass podcasts to keep my morning fun. sun's been in my eyes for the last hour or so, so that's been fun, but that's yeah, alright. Alright, check in when we get up here to the place I'm meeting the guy. Hey guys, it's the evening of day two. Sorry I didn't uh, do anything yesterday, but we didn't have a whole lot of action. I'll put some stills and stuff in just before this so you guys can uh, see what we've been looking at. But we're after a specific buck, so we've been seeing tons of deer, but just not the right one. We saw a big to nine or ten last night and a real nice eight this morning that almost got shot, but decided not to yeah we'll check back in here in a, in a little while and see what we can do sit and wait Well, there you have it. Today was the last morning and sorry the video didn't go quite as planned, but it was still fun. 
<clears throat> I'll uh, mix it all up the little bit of video and all the stills I got mix it up in this video and let you get a pretty good uh, good idea about what went on this weekend it was a great hunt started off real slow but when you're hunting a specific deer that's what happens that big old bull over here showing me who's boss but yeah these blinds aren't very big so it's hard to set a camera up in there with you so I didn't get a whole lot of the actual hunt but I uh, I did manage to get this morning's doe kill on film which was pretty cool I haven't done that yet so yeah Oops. sounds like a shot got the other couple guys here in camp still out looking for a few things getting closer so yeah i'm gonna wrap this one up i'll uh i'll do some more recap later on and give you a whole rundown thank you guys for watching oh and i think i settled on a name it's not much of a name different than what you would think but you know, we're gonna just call it butcher shop outdoors for now until i can come up with something more clever so yeah thanks for watching guys have a great one Well, full ice chests. Look at that one over there. Can't ask for better. Was supposed to hopefully get some pigs and a U A dad too, but just ran out of time. And pigs didn't really look worth a shit to eat anyways, so I'll have to go home and get another one. So yeah. I'm excited. This was a hell of a trip. They wouldn't sell me that one. <laughs>